now we learn about how to create a project with the T code SE GW. So before creating any project, it is better first we have some understanding of the business requirement on which for which we are going to create the OETA service. So here I am considering a simple scenario. I have a custom table ZOVBAK. If you don't have any custom table, you can also create a table with similar structure for the practice. So we have a table ZOVBAK with some data. On this, I'm going to perform the code operations. So I have created one table with the fields as VBALN, ER date. This I have created by copying the fields from the VBAK table. And I selected some field as VBALN, ER date, the time, ER num, order type, the WR, WARK, corner and remark. So you also create a similar table in the system or you can use your existing custom table for practice. After that, add some record into that table so that we can perform the reading of the operation. And once we done with our custom table, then we'll see how to create the project with SEGW. So here I have this custom table. You can see here, this is my custom table with some data. So now I'm creating the project, but I'll go to SEGW. Here the first icon is create. Click on this create project. Give any project ID. Here I'm giving as ZK or data one. Give the meaningful description. or data practice one. You can give the package here if you want to transfer this to the next system. Here I'm doing the practice. So I'm going with a local object. So once we create the projects, you can see inside that project, the four components are created automatically by the system. There is a data model, service implementation, runtime artifacts, and service maintenance, which I have explained in the theoretical session. So inside the data model, we have to create the entity types based on our requirement, what type of data will be coming from the front-end system and which we want to pass to the back-end system. So this is about to create the project.